prepped and ready to chuck a canopy on the back. How good does the dual cabs look with a tray? Absolutely amazing. 1986 long, by, by the way, guys. Um, and we always start with the most important thing with our builds. Um, it's really the foundation of, of, um, of the cars and building them up. It's a long process is the GVM and the suspension package. The 4495 J-Max chassis is the ultimate choice for uh, diversity with the 79 series. They are a work ute. They're designed to haul and uh, they're designed to put a big load in the back as well. So the 4495 um, gives you guys the best outcome of, of comfort, ride handling. Forget about the GVM figures. It's more about the fact that it actually just drives like no other 79. It is so comfortable. Paired up with the J-Max Alpha shocks. We've got the big DPU package under the bonnet. ARB bar work. And uh, <clears throat> it's a three inch lift on 33 inch tires. Really good combination actually. You can go anywhere in Australia with 33 inch tires. And it is a little bit easier on the drivetrain too. Less strain on the clutch. Better for towing, bigger weights. Um, we do normally advise any of our guys that are wanting to tow three and a half ton or more um, to definitely stick to 33 inch tires. Uh, or we can definitely go down the path of re-gearing, but all in all, a 33 is just better, better for the car in general. So anyway, well, uh, I'll give you a quick little glimpse inside here. We've done our normal bits and pieces. The interior, looking very flash, the full fascia roof console. Kenwood, done our new um, premium rear wall panel, the slimline lithium and the focal 10 inch sub. And there's obviously solar and lights and all that sort of jazz up on top. The solar is obviously feeding, um, feeding the little BCDC down there, the new uh, core model is actually really good for these sorts of applications because we don't need the IP rating being mounted inside the car. And these are the new little compact series amps from Focal. So, so cool. Love it. Cheers, guys.